Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on March the 30th, 2020. Melbourne tests a possible coronavirus vaccine. Amidst the COVID-19 spreads worldwide, a vaccine that's been used to prevent tuberculosis is being given to healthcare workers in Melbourne to see if it will protect them against the disruptive virus. The Bacillus calmet gayran or BCG shot has been used widely for about 100 years with a growing appreciation for its off-target benefits. It is not only a common immunotherapy for early-stage bladder cancer. The vaccine also seems to train the body's first line of immune defense to better fight infections. As an immune Immunization has a vital role in the coronavirus pandemic. The World Health Organization says it's important to know whether the BCG vaccine can reduce disease in those infected with the coronavirus. The WHO is also encouraging international groups to collaborate with a study led by Nigel Curtis, head of infectious diseases research at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute in Melbourne. Hospital staff who volunteered to be part of a six-month trial in Australia involving 4,000 healthcare workers will be randomly allocated to be vaccinated starting on Monday against seasonal influenza and TB or the flu shot only. Japan plans to issue additional government bonds. Japan will boost government bonds issuance by $149 billion from July to fund a massive stimulus package aimed to support the country's economy amidst the coronavirus pandemic, two government sources said on Monday. The additional 16 trillion yen, $149 billion in bonds, comes on top of the government's existing plan to sell nearly 129 trillion yen of Japanese government bonds in the fiscal year beginning in April. The total amount to be sold in markets in the upcoming fiscal year at around 145 trillion yen would be the first increase in annual bond issuance in four years. The government will boost issuance for government bonds of all maturities, excluding 40-year bonds, inflation-linked bonds and liquidity supply and bonds. It may also issue six-month treasury discount bills. Global shares mostly drop amid virus spread fears. Global share markets mostly dropped on Monday as fears mounted that the global coronavirus shutdown could last for a month. However, stocks recovered some losses late in the session with Australia posting a strong data. U.S. and European futures turned upwards during the Asian session with e-mini futures for the S&P 500 rebounded 1.1 percent. Euro stocks 50 futures climbed 2 percent and FTSE futures added 1.5 percent. Australia's benchmark ASX 200 saw a late surge closing up 7 percent after Prime Minister Scott Morrison unveiled a $130 billion $79.86 billion package to help save jobs. Meanwhile, Japan's Nikkei declined 1.57 percent, Shanghai Blue Chips lost 0.94 percent, and Singapore's benchmark fell 2.95 percent. Such movements left MSCI's broadest index of Asia Pacific shares outside Japan nearly flat. On the commodity market, oil prices tumbled as Saudi Arabia and Russia showed no signs of resolving their price were even as global transport restrictions hammered demand. Brand crude futures decreased $1.42 to $23.51 a barrel, while U.S. crude slipped $0.83 cents to $20.67 per barrel. BNP Paribas will buy a unit of Banco de Sabadell. Spanish bank Banco de Sabadell said on Monday it agreed to sell its depository unit to France's BNP Paribas for 115 million euros, 127.40 million dollars. The Sabadell unit had assets worth 22 billion euros in custody, the Spanish bank said. The sale, which is expected to be closed during the second quarter of 2021, will bring Sabadell a net capital gain worth 75 million euros.